begin this evening with a dramatic rescue, all caught on camera as emergency crews rushed out to Bob Hall Pier on Padre Island this afternoon after two people were spotted struggling in the strong currents. It unfolded just after two this afternoon. Bill Churchill spoke with one woman who described the tense moments to save them from the water in tonight's top story. I spoke with one witness who was out here enjoying the beach with her family when she spotted the couple under the pier. She said that they were only in about waist deep water when a woman started having difficulty and lost her balance. The man she was with tried to save her, but that's when the undertow took him. Right there where it says Michael Mays, they were right under there. Cindy Mitchell says before she knew it, the man had been taken out several yards. She says a group of people nearby immediately swam out to the man to try and save him as they too battled the strong rip currents. Took him halfway up the pier. It was pretty sad and she started screaming and hollering for him and then next thing you know, the, the surfers are out there helping and the lifeguards came in immediately. Mitchell took these pictures as the man was brought back to shore to awaiting emergency crews already on standby. We had all the finest of, you know, the fire department, everybody, the rescue was all here as fast as they could to help this man and they brought him in. I pray to God that he's okay. I don't know, but I just pray that both him and his wife are okay. Mitchell says the man did not appear to be responsive. He, along with the woman, were both taken to Bay Area Hospital. And I want you to take a look at this. There are several of these red flags up today at Bob Hall Pier, signaling a high hazard for beachgoers, which means high surf or strong currents. Something to look out for. Reporting from Bob Hall Pier, I'm Bill Churchwell, 3 News. And just moments before that call went out to first responders alerting them to the couple that was lost out in the surf, firefighters in Flower Bluff took to their social media page to warn folks that surf conditions were red flag. So what does that mean? Our meteorologist Bill Vesey is here to explain. Bill. Hi, Rudy. Hi, everybody. Well, first of all, the waves are only three feet out there and the official rip current risk is moderate, but the worst place to be is near a pier we're near the jetties where the currents and the rip currents are strongest. And that's apparently what happened today. Seasoned veteran surfers, swimmers know that, but a lot of our guests and visitors are unaware of that. So even though the rip current risk is moderate, you always have to be careful, especially around the piers and the jetties. And this is right under Bob Hall Pier. Very sad story. Be careful in the water. If you do get caught in a rip current, don't fight it. Swim away from it. Wave and yell and swim parallel. Rudy? Advice. Thank you, Bill, for that.